Hey, welcome back. We are in our devotional time here this morning, 1 Samuel chapter 26, now verses 7 to 12. David and Saul are have come together again. Saul has come out seeking David, and it's come to David. David is now going to right there at the camp. What's going to happen next? Let's read it out. So David and Abishai came to the people by night, and there Saul lay sleeping within the camp, with his spear stuck in the ground by his head, and Abner and the people lay all around him. Then Abishai said to David, God has delivered your enemy into your hand this day. Now, therefore, please let me strike him at once with the spear right to the earth. I will not have to strike him a second time. But David said to Abishai, Do not destroy him, for who can stretch out his hand against the Lord's anointed and be guiltless? David said, Furthermore, as the Lord lives, the Lord shall strike him, or his day shall come to die or he shall go out to battle and perish. The Lord forbid that I should stretch out my hand against the Lord's anointed, but please take now the spear and the jug of water that are by his head and let us go. So David took the spear and the jug of water by Saul's head and they got away. And no man saw or knew it or awoke, for they were all asleep because a deep sleep from the Lord had fallen on them. Very interesting, this last piece. It shows us that uh, David says, you know, hey, no, no. His counsel, is guy that's with him, says kill him, which is the counsel he had last chapter. And he wouldn't do it then, and he's not going to do it now. But he says, let's go and take the spear and the jug of water. We're going to make that. We're going to kind of make the same point we made last time. We're going to make it again. But what's interesting here is we see, and we saw in the cave that, that God had providentially led them together. Here we see that as he goes down, a deep sleep from the Lord had fallen on them. So, so there's 3,000 guys surrounding Saul, and David and Abishai go all the way down there, and they recover the spear and the jug of water. They, just, they were able to just walk in because God just caused everybody to fall asleep. God is intervening clearly for David. David is expressing mercy, and God is intervening for David. Do you think those things might go together? That when we express mercy for others— that God may especially intervene supernaturally for us. You know, it might happen. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for the merciful heart of David, who could easily again slay Saul, but instead chooses a path of peace, a path of reconciliation, even though there's certainly no sign that Saul is ever going to climb out of his murderous, uh, habitual return to hatred toward David. But still, thank you, Lord, that so David was merciful. Thank you for showing us your intervention here by the Bible writer telling us that, that you caused a sleep to fall upon these people. Lord, as we seek your face, we pray that you will intervene for us in the ways that are right in our situations. Couldn't do better than that, and we thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. God is on the side of the righteous. Our part is to humbly and very, very carefully be certain that we are on God's side and everything else will take care of itself. God be with you and bless you this day.